Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're going to be going over the AP Physics 1 um, 2018 free response questions. Now, I have actually seen some of these questions before because I was helping some students last this past year on uh, reviewing and how to go about them, but for the most part, this is how I would still go about um, doing the problems as though it was the first time. And I actually never read through any of the solutions, so I don't know if I would score all the points correctly, but at least this will give you an idea of how I would walk through the AP Physics 1 for response questions. So number one, a spacecraft of mass M is moving, let's change the color of my ink so it's easier to see, uh, is moving in a figure shown the mass of the Earth is ME. Okay. In the figure below, draw and label the forces, not components that act on the spacecraft. Each force must be represented by a distinct arrow pointing on and pointing away from the spacecraft. Okay, um, this is pretty easy. The only thing that's acting on the spacecraft is gravity from the Earth. That's it. No other forces. No wind resistance, nothing pushing on it. There's no such thing as a centripetal force force per se that's not a force um it's more the gravity because you might think it's going in a circle but it's the gravity that's acting as a centripetal force there's no other kind of centripetal forces like pushing out or anything like that so that's all we need now derive an equation for the orbital period t in terms of these constants as appropriate if you need to draw anything other than what you've shown in part a to assist your solution use this space below do not add anything to the figure all right, so, um, well, we know that this is a centripetal force, right? There's a net force on the spacecraft. It's pulling it to the center. If the spacecraft had no, excel no velocity already, it would be falling towards the Earth or accelerating. But it has a velocity because it's going in a circle. Circular path means centripetal acceleration. So Fg has to equal ma where a is uh, the centripetal acceleration, which is m v squared over r. Okay. Now uh, the force of gravity is given by g m one m two. So m one would be the mass of the spacecraft, then the mass of the Earth over r squared. So this is the equation that governs the relationship between the force of gravity and the centripetal acceleration. But we need to get this in terms of period. Now what is period equal to? Period would be, well, let's think of it this way. If I went 2 pi r uh, is the distance I would have to travel, and I'm going at, you know, it's sort of um, the period, let's relate how we would relate period and velocity. Is sort of distance over time, which is the period, would equal velocity. The distance it travels is, is 2 pi r over t, right? Because the distance is the circumference of the circle is equal to v. So t is equal to 2 pi r over v, right, by rearranging that. So I just need to get what 2 pi r over v is. Well, I can solve for v using this equation, right? So this would tell me, uh, if I multiply by r, this would cancel with that. The m's cancel. So this tells me v is equal to the square root of g mass of the earth over r, right? And then t is 2 pi r over v, so t would equal 2 pi r over the square root of g m e over r. I want to combine these r's. Um, this is a square root of r um, down here. If I if it goes to the numerator, it inverts. So it's 2 pi r square root of r over the square root of g m e. That would be my answer. There's a there's different ways to rearrange it. Um, I'm not gonna. So you could say r. This is r to the three halves or whatever. But okay, that's. The second spacecraft of mass 2m is placed in circular orbit with the same radius. 
is the orbital period of the second spacecraft greater than, less than, or equal to the orbital period of the first spacecraft? Well, this is the orbital period of the first spacecraft. And note that it doesn't seem to depend on the mass of the spacecraft. I don't see m anywhere. It depends on the radius, the mass of the Earth, and g. Um, so the period is equal to, um, yeah, it's the same radius r, it's 2m. And the for, my reasoning is the formula does not depend on m. Okay. Um, I think on the second page, let's let's get the second page of it. I didn't copy ahead of time, so let's take a copy of this, put it up here, and rearrange it. Good. Um, okay, so let's see. The spa first spacecraft has now moved into a new circular orbit that has a radius greater than r, as shown in the figure. Below. Is the speed of the spacecraft in the new orbit greater, greater than, less than, or equal to the original speed? Let's look at our formula. Um, I increase r, and nothing else changes. Oh, oh, actually, this is asking about uh, velocity. Ah, tricky. You see, this is the period equation. I need to look at the velocity equation. Okay, let's look at my velocity equation. Uh, when r goes up, v goes down, right? Because r is on the denominator here. So, less than. Since v is equal to square root of g m e over r, as r increases, v decreases. I don't know what explanation they want other than the formula says so, but um, that would be what I would do. And let's just double check. I need to look up the, the solutions, scoring guidelines. I didn't have these before, so let's take a look. Um, one point with FG pointing towards the Earth. That's correct. So I got that. Um, no, it's in terms of T squared, 4 pi squared. Oh, I see. So they, they, they kind of rearranged this a little bit. They put it all into the square root and made this 4 pi squared and then R cubed. Um, but that's fine. It doesn't, I don't think that matters. Um, part two, it's equal to. Yeah, an explanation that the formula was consistent. Okay. And then uh, part C, less than, and one point for correct explanation. Derivation and step. Yeah, I just wrote the formula here. Okay, so we got all the credits for this question. All right. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe if you want to see more. And we will continue on to the second question in the next video. Thanks.